hey what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'll be sh I will be showing you guys some great league battles with this new team I've created please consider showing your support by leaving a like subscribing and, turn and turning notifications on and with that being said let's get on with today's video all right guys for the first turn my opponent's first Pokemon is Azumarill so this is a pretty good start for us because both of us will do neutral damage and Azumarill's player for Ice Beam would do neutral damage as well. So I end up getting my Sky Attack here first. And I think I think he takes the hit takes the hit right here, which is fine because they gave me extra damage. But I could either shield right here, but it would give him an opening to shield as well if if I do a really serious attack. So I decide to let his ice beam go through, which is okay still. So I end up keep farming him down. But I ended up trying out this game just to switch it up because I've never really used Skymarie, but he's one of the meta Pokemon in the Great League. But I ended up getting another Sky Attack off, and he's farmable for me, but he ended up getting a, a cheeky Ice Beam off right here at 1 HP, so I didn't show really it because it wouldn't bait me, but it would do a lot of damage. So I'm also 1 HP, but this was good because I ended up seeing his his first Pokemon. So right here, I think I made the mistake by swapping with this guy, uh, Aerodactyl, because I thought that he had a flying type move, but instead he had a metal type move. So I made the mistake by swapping out to Aerodactyl and then swapping out to Lapras. This was really bad because it makes me go through the swap cooldown while he has no swap cooldown. He could swap out to any Pokemon if he had a counter to Lapras, which was really bad, but I ended up getting a Sky Attack first, and I didn't shield, and then I threw in my safe right after. So, yeah, yeah he takes up ending the heat. He takes, he takes the hit without shielding, and I think he gets another Sky Sky Attack off. Oh wait, he didn't. He didn't. This was good. But his final Pokemon is a Raichu. So this can go two ways because Raichu is a electric type Pokemon and electric is super effective against both my water type Pokemon Lapis and Aerodactyl but because he had a fairy type move actually charm he did neutral damage which was good but my Aerodactyl could not survive because Aerodactyl was pretty glassy and pretty squishy with barely any HP he has, a, he has, I think, more than 100 HP, but his defense is kind of low, so, yeah, so, my Aerodactyl couldn't do enough damage to feint to me, and I, end, and I end up losing the first time. Good game to my opponent. For the second round, my opponent's face Pokemon is a Surfetched. This is a really good matchup for me, because Surfetched is a fighting type Pokemon, and flying types is super effective. He makes a swap out to Galarian Stunfisk. Galarian Stunfisk is a ground and metal type Pokemon, so I had to swap out to Lapras. Lapras is basically my only counter against this Stunfisk because both flying types and rock types from my Aerodactyl would do not very effective damage. My Lapras is safe and not frost breath does neutral damage and my safe does super effective damage since water is super effective against ground type. So I had to end up shielding it here just to block block that off. I ended up building his shields but I think my lap was goes down right here because or no I, I shielded right here. I shielded right here just to avoid going down because my once again my slime here I got a safe right here, and I think he ends up shielding him, shielding his due to the super effective damage. But he, but his rock slide is a rock type Pokemon, is a rock type move, and rock is super effective against Lapras because rock is super effective against ice types. So I have no more shields, so my Lapras ended up going down. So I ended up swapping back out to Skyler since I already had enough energy for my sky attack which was pretty good pretty good but it barely did 
no damage once again, so I, to, I think I go for the farm down right here. It would be tough since due to Stumpfist's fast charge move, energy charge move, so yeah, he ends up getting, I think, only one rock slide off, but his final Pokemon, oh, he swaps out to a second Pokemon again. So fresh. So, once again, my flying type moves will do super effective damage against this, against fighting type Pokemon. So yeah, I ended up with fainting his so fresh right there. When my Sky Marie is also once again about to go down. But oh, oh, that was really close. I don't, I don't think we fully tried all the way, which was really good because it it allowed me to get enough energy for another Sky. This was really good for us because the sky attack would give my me extra damage. But the bad part was was allowing Cresselia to farm me down. That was two extra shots right there. And two extra shots would do a lot of damage since I'm guessing this charge move is probably Moonblast. So he ends up getting a really good hit right here. Yeah, that was really strong. <laughs> it might look like it's over, but my rock slide came in clutch and did a good amount of damage for his Cresselia to faint, allowing me to take the win for the second round. This was a really close fight, but good game to my opponent. Season's great battle because I don't really think Ferrothorn is a good Pokemon to use right now. The last time I've seen him was probably, I don't even know the last time I've seen him, honestly. But this is a pretty good uh, uh, matchup for us because Sky is flying types, so super effective against grass types, but not very effective against metal types. This causes neutral damage, so he ends up swapping out to Galarian Stunfist. But back there I made the mistake by shooting his power whip that that was really bad because it allowed his stun fist to get a few rock slides off with and since his charge moves load up so fast and my lapis is safe loads up pretty fast too but his is faster I didn't have I couldn't mirror his shields so he ends up getting another another charge move off right here and I ended up having to shield so I have to, I end up swapping out the sky Mini due to his mud slide being not very effective damage and his rock slide his moves like rock slide and earthquake would do neutral and not very effective damage which is also really good so his rock slide didn't do that much damage but it will, it's, it's still damage I guess so my sky attack came in my sky attack loaded up pretty quickly and he does and he decides not to shield. So he swaps out to Raikou. So Raikou is a electric type Pokemon as you can see from his fast moves. He doing chunks off of my Aerodactyl. But he ends up using Wild Shred, which was, which was good for me because it, it's a defense debuff. So it allowed my Aerodactyl to faint him while having a rock slide in the back ready. This was really good because it allowed me to have an opportunity to win right here because it may seem like I'm about to lose but that my Aerodactyl came in clutch from that. So his final two Pokemon is Ferrothorn and I think Stunfisk, but Stunfisk is in the red zone. So if he swaps out to that, that would be really good for me because it allows my my sky moon to farm up a bit more energy. So yeah, so my sky attack came in. My sky attack loaded up pretty fast. And I ended up getting a direct hit since he has no shields left. But I think due to the since it's so slow, I think he's either AFK. Yeah, I think he went AFK, bro. But if he didn't go AFK, I still could have pushed the win right here because my stun just would have done enough damage. His 
struggle with something and couldn't get another another power whip in time. Or if you did get a power whip, it wouldn't do as much damage and it's Galarian Stun Fist goes only a few hits away from me getting this fight win. So good game to my opponent right there. That was a really close fight. and my sky attack charge move would have been a waste. So I th yeah I get my charge move and my sky attack off and, and I think he takes the direct hit and I ended up tapping his ass to end up getting the first hit. I was with one I was like zero coming on the street. So I was fine the second Pokemon is uh, actually But he understood me to Gengar, so Gengar, I have it, I also haven't seen Gengar in the, in the Great League, so Gengar is a poison and ghost like Pokemon, and that person is really good. So I also have a really safe ready from the lecture and it's been found out for me, so he's left his no more shields since he shielded here because water is super good. Pokemon. So this is gonna this is this gets me the win because my final Pokemon is an Aerodactyl and I also had a a rock slide ready for him. So look how much damage it takes off. This faints him. So I'll give him to my opponent right here. Fifth and final round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Alolan Radicate. So Alolan Radicate is a dark and normal type Pokemon. I like how my my opponents are using some really nice Pokemon that I haven't seen people use so far, like Radicate. So both of us do neutral damage, right here, but Bite is just a stronger and faster, faster. So he is doing more damage, but he takes a direct hit. This was a bad swap because I was able to get a poison type of one. You know, flying types, you know, I just get effective damage due to flying being super effective against fighting types. And toxic cook is a fighting and poison type of one. got a head on energy and he's halfway to his safe so his final pokemon is a is an ooksie so he's a psychic type he's an only psychic type pokemon i think yeah i think he is so my i was saying what did i do to do little damage so he ended up taking the hit right there he should i don't know he probably, he's probably going to in the next one but I think he 